just as she was slipping the locket back into her belt and preparing to report back to Titaman. The sergeant who'd punished the soldier for shooting the dog caught Orly and called her aside. Listen, missy, he said. I don't have to see the corpse to know when something's been dead a while. I've been watching you and Master Titaman marching up and down all day, and the ancient one been at it for more than a pair before that. Now, I ain't trying to climb high in my stripes or go sniffing round your chicken coop, but I can tell well enough there's more to your problem than five gold worth of spell trinkets. This ain't my first skirmish, as it were. Orly's poker face only failed for the briefest instant before she got it back. Your point? Listen here. These boys ain't the bad sort. They just prone to throwing dice and chasing whores. See, the Queen, she ain't as liberal with the salaries as she used to be. Or so rumours tell. And, well, if and the man were to come upon an item of seaman worth, well, I expect you get the rest, you being a sailor on them sky ships and all. She nodded, understanding well enough, but not sure where he was going with the seemingly candid remarks. I don't know if nobody's seen your yellow rock, he said, but I know where they'd take it if and they did, and weren't disposed to return it to Master Titerman. There it was. She nodded. All right, so where would they go? First, you swear you won't never tell us so where you heard this, and I'm trusting you, one soldier to the next, because you don't need to be ate by a buzzard to know what they is circling for. There's something foul afoot, and I expect I can help you some. So, swear it, he said. Blood oath. She nodded. Of course I won't. Not even Titerman. She frowned at that. I'm not sure I could keep it from him, she confessed. You know, if he really wanted to find out. She wriggled her fingers in the air, in that way Roberto always did when he was having fun with the idea of wizardry. Aye, that's a fact, he agreed. And I won't hold you to it, if in it come to that. Us blanks is up for it if and they figure to get after us for real. She nodded, knowing it was true. Just don't be blabbing out. I got no need of being cursed. Titerman would never curse you. Maybe not Titerman, but Black Sandalwood. A devil's soul he is. <laughs>